guys, what's up? Have you ever tried stovetop creme brulees? If you haven't, you're in for a treat today. Uh, and if you can ask, what's the difference between the two? Well, if you cook it in the oven, uh, it's nice and silky smooth, but sometimes the outside can be a little bit overcooked. Whereas the stovetop creme brulee, it's perfectly cooked from top to bottom. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's a little tricky, but practice makes perfect. Uh, we're also gonna serve it with some beautiful spongy madeleines. What? No, not the mandolins, madelines. Uh, we're going to do a coffee madeline and a praline madeline as well, so hope you guys and gals are going to enjoy it. So first things first, we're actually going to make the uh, brulee mix first because that's the longest thing that's going to take to set. It's actually going to take overnight. Uh, so when we get to that part, I'll have a think about it. But anyway, let's show you how to make the mix first. So first things are the eggs. Not two, not three, not even four. Oh, God. You're going to need nine eggs, or egg yolks technically, but make sure you save those cheeky egg whites. So there we go. There's our cheeky nine egg yolks. Ooh, they're looking fantastic. Oh, uh, and we're going to need uh, 75 grams of sugar or one third of a cup. Granulated sugar, not any kind of sugar. In addition, we're going to need about one teaspoon of vanilla. Then you want to just give this a little kind of frantic whisk, just until it's all whisked together. So in addition, you also want 500 ml of cream, heavy cream. And also, if you want that in cups, it's about four cups plus four teaspoons. And yeah, yeah, I don't really do cups, but you know, you get the idea. So whisk that bad boy together until it's all incorporated. And then you want to pop that mix into a medium-sized pan, making sure you get every last little bit out of there. So in addition... Um... So once you retrieved your bowl from panging around, uh, grab yourself a bowl and when this is cooked, you want to get everything ready. Uh, otherwise, if it scrambles or cooks over, you'll have to start all over again. So get everything ready, even your molds as well. So we got our creme brulee mix. We're going to put this onto a low heat, I'd say three out of 10. Uh, and we're going to mix this continuously. Uh, and the reason for it is to stop it from scrambling. You want to do this slow and low. It's super important. If you do it high, you'll end up scrambling the mix. So uh, be super patient with this. It should take about roughly 20 minutes. Yeah, we're going to stand at the stove for 20 minutes stirring this. I know, I know it's very tedious, but it's definitely worth it, trust me. And uh, you'll know when it's done is when you can do a figure of eight with the uh, mixture. Is it ready yet, chef? No, it's only five minutes in. We've still got another 15 to go. How about now, chef? No, it's only been 10 minutes. Is it ready yet? No, it's not ready yet. It's been 15 minutes. Another five. Is it ready yet, chef? No. Oh, actually, actually it is. So once you can actually do the figure of eight over the top when it's leaving a trail, then that should be about ready. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to pass this now. And then quickly just pass it through a sieve. So unfortunately, I don't have ramekins, so use whatever you can. So they're in the molds ready. Fantastic. Uh, also, if you see the mix before you start pouring into the mold, starting to split a little bit, just give it a little quick cheeky risk. risk whisk. It'll come back together. We need to let this uh, set overnight. Um, how am I going to do this chat? Let me try some magic, guys. Uh, uh, oh, wow. Uh, even got ramekins. Look at that. Uh, are they set, though? It's the... Oh. What do, would you look at that? Fantastic. Set an absolute treat. There we go. Save myself a little bit of cheeky time. So the next thing we want to do is that praline paste. So I wonder if that click thing will work again. Let's have a go. Oh. Well, I, I, I guess it is praline paste. Let's have a, let's have a little taste. Yeah, it's praline paste, fantastic. So there we go. And if you're wondering how to make this or fresh homemade praline, you can actually refer to my Paris breath video, which should be, um, hello, is it, is it? Oh, here it is, here it is. And that will guide you through how to make that beautiful praline paste that I got here. In addition, I'll put, make sure I'll put the recipe in the description box so you can check it out. So it's time to start making those madeleines. So we need to preheat that cheeky oven to 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. So grab your madeleine molds and you're going to grab yourself a little cheeky bit of butter and then start uh, brushing them with uh, some butter. Uh, you can always alternatively melt them. I prefer this way as it holds together nicely. So once they're all buttered, you basically want to... Oh, butter fingers. Uh, you want to basically pop them onto a flat tray uh, and you can put this one onto a separate tray as well. You might need this one, you might not. We'll see how it goes. So to start this madeleine mix, we're going to need 75 grams or a third of a cup of unsalted butter. Oh, and did I forget? We've got to melt this on the stove. Oops. So yeah, melt this down very gently on the low heat. 
So in addition, grab yourself another bowl and we're going to need 80 grams of sugar or 3 eighths of a cup. In addition, we're going to need 3 eggs. Whole eggs this time. Oh, where are you going? Then give them a, a cheeky little whisk just until they're all incorporated together. In addition, you want 80 grams of plain flour, all-purpose flour, or two-thirds of a cup. In addition, we want 40 grams of ground almonds, or one-quarter cup. Not forgetting that little cheeky pinch of salt. And then just carefully whisk that into a nice, beautiful paste. So once you've got that beautiful paste, uh, what you want to do is start adding the butter little by little. Just add a touch to begin with, and just carefully whisk that in. A little touch more. All right, no messing about. All of it in. Let's go. So there it is. There's your beautiful mix. Uh, and we're going to split this in half because we're going to do half praline, half coffee. So let me get grab myself another bowl. So there we go. Half in half. So for the coffee, we're going to need two teaspoons of instant espresso. And then just give that a nice little beautiful mix. And then for the second one, you're going to need two teaspoons of praline paste. And you're probably going to need to whisk this one in. So I'm going to start with the coffee first. And I'm going to need about roughly a dessert spoon into the mold. If you want to go a little bit more less, that's fine. Unless you want them extra thick, like me. Uh, you can go for a little bit less, but I'm going to fill these bad boys right up. And then the same for the praline. I'm going to pop that straight in there. So once those bad boys are filled, half and half, uh, we're going to stick them straight in the oven. They're going to take about 10 to 12 minutes. Well, goodness me, look at those little cheeky bad boys. Um, well, I did say I want them thick, so we're just going to let these cool down just slightly, and then we're going to have a little look at these. But I, I just think I can't wait, though. It just needs to happen now. Oh, my goodness me. Look at those beautiful, spongy, soft madeleines. Fantastic. So let those bad boys cool down before... Uh, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. Just a little too hot. Just a little bit. Mm. But very delicious, nevertheless. So, while waiting for the uh, madeleines to cool down on my tongue, uh, we can just very gently coat the top of the brulee nice and evenly with some sugar and then we're just gonna um, so after filling the uh, torch with gas we're just gonna caramelize the top of these beautiful brulees just very carefully watching your fingers and there it is that delightful delicious brulee And also not forgetting those beautiful madeleines. So the coffee one, and then the praline madeleine. Absolutely delightful. Look at those little bad boys right there. And just to give these a little cheeky finish off, just a little bit of icing sugar, or powdered sugar if you want to call it. And there it is, amigos. That delightful stovetop creme brulee with those beautiful madeleines, the praline and coffee doesn't get any better than that. Goodness me. Delicious. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh my goodness me. Look at that. Delightful. Just set as well. Mm. Smooth velvety from top to bottom delicious oh my goodness me perfection so there we have it amigos our stovetop creme brulees and coffee and praline madeleines <sighs> amazing uh, feel free to check out the recipe below in the description box. Also, I'll be live on Twitch, which will be in the description box as well. At 10 a.m. Mountain Time, Tuesday to Friday. Feel free to come stop by and check us out. But until next week, amigos, stay cheeky.